Hey guys, it's about uh, 8 o'clock in the morning, about minus 25 outside, it's freezing. So, just looking at uh, Holly dashes here, gauges, they're big dollars. As you can see, digital dashes, they are nice, but they're, they're quite expensive. So this guy here, 2500 bucks Canadian, the one in the middle here, 1450 the one in the top here, the cheapest one, 923 so about 700 bucks American, US. So that's the cheapest one you can buy right there. So they are nice, but they're expensive. So another alternative, guys, is uh, we're just going to use our tablet here. As you can see, I got the gauges set up. And it's got to be a Windows tablet. You can't use an Android-powered tablet like I did initially. I made that mistake because you can't run Windows uh, Terminator X Mac software on it. So yeah, so you have to get a Windows tablet. And uh, this guy is 11.6 screen diagonal. And you have to get a couple cables to make it work. So you need the... Uh, the USB to CAN, that's this guy here, 558443 Holly, and then you need the, a CAN splitter, so that is part number 558465. The CAN splitter right now, guys, it's in my car, so I'll just show you a picture of it. Let's see here. Yeah, that's this guy here. So there it is right there. So that's a Holly EFI CAN splitter 558465. So now we can run our handheld in the car. That's that guy right there. That's in my car. It was in my car. I took it apart now because I'm going to mount the tablet. And uh, we can run our this cable here, which is the CAN to USB. So we can run both. We can run this guy and we can run our handheld in the car. So we need that splitter. This guy here, that's already in the car. Apologies for not having here to show you. But anyways, uh, yeah, so you, that's that came in these two boxes here. This guy here is a splitter. I don't know why this thing's going off. That's the splitter right there, and uh, this is the USB to CAN again. So yeah, so that's uh, another cheap alternative to uh, to a digital dash. So now we have we can have uh, gauges which are better than just using this thing here, and uh, we'll see how it works. We'll shoot, shoot another scene and uh, show you how it all looks. Oh yeah, and uh, before I forget, uh, I just quickly fabricated this little mount here. So I already tried it; it does work. You see that? And uh, yeah, so what we'll do is we're just going to put some double-sided tape on here, tape it in place where this thing used to be, so that thing is off now. And uh, we'll have some gauges for not, uh, you know, not a thousand bucks, but a couple hundred bucks by the time you factor in the cost of that tablet or laptop. And again, guys, it's got to be a Windows tablet. So this guy here I got from Amazon, as you can see here. So I did make the mistake of buying a cheaper one, like for about 150 bucks, and it was an Android-powered one, but it didn't work. So as soon as I downloaded the software, oh shit, it's got to be Windows. I realized my mistake. <laughs> so yeah, so that's uh, that's a little project for today. I'll get this mount in, and uh, yeah, well, hopefully this works, and I'll shoot another scene, and uh, and uh, it should be good. So in order to get power to our uh, gauges while we're in the car, let's say we're going on a long trip, we're going to need a 12 volt power source. So basically what I got laid out here, guys, is the stuff we need here. So I got this from uh, Canadian Tire, so Harbor Freight in the States. Uh, you know, any hardware store will have this or automotive store. So it's just a 12 volt uh, plug-in. It's even got a USB uh, port, actually. See that? So basically we're just going to hook up this to our 12 volts and ground. These two wires and then we'll have then we'll use this guy here this is the benson 12 volt universal vehicle lighter car charger cord with eight connector tips for electrical devices two watts and you get all the uh all the different uh, fittings so you'll find one that'll fit and i've already got the one that fits right here i'll just show you quickly so that just goes in here like so and then of course this We'll plug into our our lighter or receptacle here. Let's see if this goes in there. Sorry for the camera work, guys, but I'm just doing this one-handed. <laughs> yeah, I hope it goes in there. Yep, there you go. So, so there. So that's uh, that's how we get the 12 volts to our laptop when we're running the gauges in the car, and we're going on a long trip to the racetrack, whatever the case may be. So yeah, so that's. Uh, That'll work. And then again, this is a Benson kit. 
Amazon. You can get that uh, there. I can't remember what I paid for it, but I think it was like $20. So, so that's the stuff we need to run our gauges in the car. I didn't go over that yet, so I'll add, it, add this scene to the, uh, to the video. Anyways, so that's the stuff we need. So a little bit of a run around and to get stuff working, but it does work. So, uh, so yeah, so it's pretty good. Okay, guys, once again, we're inside Project Turbo LS. I got my uh, laptop or uh, tablet uh, screen here using as, working as my gauges, as you can see. So everything's working. So basically, I just wanted to show you uh, the fuel bridge right here. So that's that thing right there. And the reason those LED lights are on is because I have less than an eighth of a tank of gas. So that's pretty cool. So we can see that with the fuel bridge, we can use any sending unit with any uh, gauge. So the sending unit is, uh, is one I had, or it came with, it's a Ford one actually. I forget the ohm rating, but you can watch one of my other videos to see that. But again, yeah, so I just wanted to show you that it's just indicating that it's uh, low fuel. That's why these lights are on. Anything less than an eighth of a tank that comes on, so that's kind of cool. And another thing, guys, I just wanted to show you a Terminator X Max Project Turbo LS. I had to top off the transmission fluid, so, uh, because I wasn't getting, so watch this, if I go into reverse, okay, I'll show you, right here, that's reverse right there, you can hear it, you can feel it, uh, RPMs drop a little bit, and uh, take foot off the brake, it actually will move, there we go, so I don't know if you can see that, but uh, it did move, do it again, yeah, there we go, so it moved a little bit, take my word for it, so, and I'll put it into drive, because it, when I had it in drive before, it wasn't uh, moving forward, now it's pulling. Now the reason for that is because I was low on transmission fluid. Because again, this is initial start, so I had to fill up the uh, the transmission lines, fill up the cooler, everything like that. So now I got the right amount of fluid in there. And as you guys can see, temperature is good, 196. And uh, I got my foot on a brake right now, so I'll grab it up a little bit. See what happens here, hopefully I don't go through the garage. See it move forward a little bit. See if that fuel pressure goes up a bit. Yep. So the fuel pressure does move with the, the gas pedal, so that's a good sign. So that means, uh, you know, this thing's working. Let's see the boost, if the boost goes up a bit. Yep, so that works too. Awesome. So boost goes up and fuel pressure goes up. So watch this scene here. So we'll see, I got my foot on a brake right now. Yeah. Yeah, so a, fuel, a boost is going up, approaching zero, and fuel pressure is going up too. So that means our boost uh, compensating regulator is working. So when we get this thing on the road, we'll put it through a real test, see if we can get boost and everything like that. But I just wanted to make a little quick video showing you all the systems do work. So all the lights are green here, transmissions in drive, and as you saw just now, the uh, the gauges are working. And again, we got to go twice to get this thing into park. So that's in park now. And see, there's no load now. So if I hit the boost, if I hit the gas, yeah, nothing much happens to the fuel pressure. It just kind of stays the same. Yeah, so I just wanted to show you guys that. I'm going to take you outside now. You can listen to what it sounds like. Again guys, here's your engine. Here's a boost compensating fuel pressure regulator. Turbo charger 7675 on three billet wheel compressor. So that's pretty cool. Wastegate, non hooked up right now. Cool valve. I made a video on that, so that's pretty cool. And now we've got the right amount of transmission fluid in there. So I'll take you outside so you can see what it sounds like. There it is. So that's what it'll sound like when uh, we we have it just running out, out of the exhaust pipe. So it's got a pretty good exhaust tone, guys. So that's kind of nice. Sounds pretty mean. Sounds good. So yeah, so it looks like everything's working. It goes into drive, it goes into reverse. So that's awesome. And again, that's what I had going on with the pipe. I bought that stuff from Amazon. So, so that's awesome. So we'll just go back in here now. Yeah, gauges are still working. I 
just want to test that again. I'm going to have it in gear so it doesn't stall. That's nice. Okay, so it's in gear. Right here, that, it's in gear, gear one. Got my foot on the brake, so I'll rev it up a bit, and then, watch the uh, fuel pressure. Yeah, fuel pressure's going up, you can see, but it lags a little bit, because it's a, it has to process, that's why it goes, it revs up first, then you can see the increase in numbers because that's the, of course, process. Let's watch the boost gauge there. Yeah, see, it's moving. Yeah, it's going towards zero, so that's good. Yeah, so it looks like it's working, guys. That's awesome. So we'll give it a road test shortly. And again, this is just the handheld you get with it, and I'm using my uh, tablet for gauges. And again, all the lights are green there. You saw what it sounded like outside. So I'll put this thing back in the park. Neutral, and you gotta put this thing forward. And then again, it's in reverse now, as you just felt. Two clicks to get it back in the park. There we go. Okay, so she's in park now. Fan is on, because we're at temperature, 199. And again, the lights are red here, because we got less than an eighth of a tank in our, or less than an eighth of a tank of gas, or full level. <laughs> Shit, I can't even talk. The excitement of uh, the project going well. Anyways, guys, uh, that's awesome. So everything is working. Uh, transmission works. Fuel level works. Everything's working. So it sounds good. No leaks. Power steering's working now because I replaced the pump. So that's awesome. So yeah. So next uh, video, we'll take this thing on the road and uh, see how she drives. Anyways, guys. Uh, again, thanks for watching Project Turbo LS. So uh, got everything figured out. Hopefully. And uh, next video, we can take it on a little road test. Thanks again, guys, for watching. See you in the next video.